So let's look at an example of finding the hydrostatic force on a circular gate. So here we have a situation where we have a 4 meter diameter circular gate uh, in this wall of our large reservoir containing, containing water. So here's our, our water shown in blue. Here's our wall. And here's our circular gate. The gate is mounted on a sh shaft along its horizontal diameter. So here is the shaft. And so this shows the situation where the, the gate is, is opened. Uh, so currently what's holding the gate shut is the pressure of the water pushing pushing on in here, right? So the water pressure pushes it on here. It's got to stop and so as long as this water is full the pressure is going to keep this gate closed So what we want to find is uh, uh, the, We want to determine the magnitude and location of the resultant force exerted on the gate by the water and the moment that would be have to be applied to the shaft to open the gate so here, you know, again, we have, uh, it's 10 meters down to the, the shaft. And uh, so we're given some angles here. This is 60 degrees. So we can calculate the distance from the, the top of the, the water line to where this, the shaft is. So if this is 10 meters and this is our distance Y, well, then, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to see that the, y at the center of the shaft is 10 meters divided by the sine of 60. Um, so here, you know, sine of 60 is 10 meters divided by y sub c, so we can solve for, for y sub c. Um, so now, uh, so in this case, what is h bar? h bar is the distance from the surface of the water down to um, the center of the shaft. That's 10 meters. The area here is uh, pi r squared, so it's it's two meter radius, and so it's pi times two meter squared, or four pi uh, meter squared. So we can calculate the force pretty easily. That's just gamma, which is the the uh, uh, 9.8 times 10 to the third newtons uh, times uh, 10 meters times four pi meter squared. Uh, by the way, we're given gamma is uh, 9.8 kilonewtons per cubic meter. So when you calculate this out, you get 1.23 times 10 to the 6 newton. That's the force uh, on the uh, F of R that the water is pushing on the, the gate. So here's a little free body diagram. Here's F of R. Shows the weight, shows the uh, uh, reaction forces of the, the pen uh, in the X and y, y directions. So to look at where exactly where this, is, this force is applied, uh, you, you know, to locate the center of pressure to which it acts, we use our formulas that, that we showed in previous lectures. So the uh, X of P is X bar plus I sub X Y X bar over A. Uh, well, this is zero due to the symmetry of the gate. So, so remember X is running uh, down this way. So uh, it's symmetric about here. So this is going to be zero. Now, y sub p is not going to be zero. We have to calculate this. We, we, we know what y bar is, and we can calculate i sub x and y bar and uh, the area we can find. Uh, we'll do that on the next slide. So in this situation, so here we have uh, y bar we know. That's the 10 meters over the sine 60. Um, i sub x is, uh, we can look that up in a table. I found a, a nice table that showed that i sub x, nice of y is pi r, r to the fourth over 4. Or R is the radius. So in our situation, it's one fourth uh, pi R to the fourth, and R R is two meters. So when you multiply this out, you get four pi uh, meters to the fourth. The area is four pi meters squared. Um, so you can plug that information in um, y bar. You can plug in uh, I sub x, and you can plug in uh, uh, you know, the area, and you can plug in the, the, the y bar again. You calculate this out, you get 11.6 meters. So in this situation, we found uh, y sub c is 11.547 meters. Y sub p is 11.6 meters. Now, if you sum moments about, about the center of pressure, about the center of the shaft, uh, you would have f of r times uh, y sub p minus y bar. So here... So you have to look. So here, so this is Y bar. Uh, y P is where the this reaction force is applied. So here's your lever arm here. It's simply Y sub P minus Y bar times F sub R. That's what we found. So 
So you calculate this out, you get 1.07 times 10 to the fifth newton meters is the moment. All right. Good problem.